What's up, everybody? Welcome to the latest edition of the Stephen A. Smith Show, coming at you as I love to do over the digital airways of YouTube and, of course, iHeartRadio. As always, before I get into anything else, let me take a moment to thank my subscribers, my followers. We've now eclipsed 785,000. Can't thank y'all enough for the love and support. Uh, of course, on iHeartRadio, we've eclipsed more than 2.5 million downloads over the last couple of months. Can't thank y'all enough for that support as well in audio, in video, and beyond. We've been receiving so much support and love from y'all. Can't thank y'all enough. Keep it coming. And you know I'm going to keep on coming. Got a lot of stuff to get into today. Donald Trump is backing out of debating Kamala Harris ever again, it appears. I'll talk about that. The one and only Ed Edgar Belinga uh, vying for the super middleweight championship boxing crown of the world going up against Saul Canelo Alvarez this Saturday night at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Um, I'm going to look forward to talking to him because he's getting ready to fight Canelo. And I think that that is, I mean, clearly the toughest fight of his career. We'll get into that with this 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 dude who's 22-0 and 0 and a knockout artist in his own right. So I was looking forward to listening to him, talking to him, hearing what he has to say about this upcoming fight. But it, it has to take a backseat today. Both items have to take a backseat today uh, to Mr. Shannon Shaw. Mr. Shannon Sharp. Um, Shannon Sharp, that's where I'm going to start today because he was trending all over the damn place this week for a pretty interesting reason. Now, uh, uh, I was minding my own business when my phone started blowing up. And I was getting texts all over the place, text messages all over the place. Everybody calling. Oh, you see what's happening? You see what's happening? I didn't know what the hell was going on about Shannon Sharp until I saw what I saw. And shall I say, a certain video of him uh, 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 doing some things, doing some things, okay? Let me just say he may want to change the name of his show uh, from Club Shay Shay to uh, Club Sun Nows. I, I, don't, I don't know where to go with this. Here's the deal. Because obviously, um, I've spoken to him. He is my colleague on First Take, somebody that I brought over to the show. Uh, last year, uh, who's done a phenomenal job uh, since he's arrived. And I'm incredibly appreciative of not just uh, the partnership that we've developed, but the friendship as well. And he, he called me about what happened, uh, let me know what was transpiring and was letting me know that he was going to let the world know uh, what transpired as well. Shannon Shaw was having sex. That's what he was doing. Okay. He's getting it in. It's just that it wasn't for everybody to know. And evidently, you know, he was on Instagram Live and didn't know. And as a result, although no video was seen, thank the good Lord, we heard quite a bit. We heard quite a bit. And so initially he thought his stuff was hacked. And then obviously he came out and, 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 and told what transpired. And that was that. And from that point forward, you've had people speculating as to whether or not he was going to get fired. Was he going to get suspended, et cetera, et cetera. Again, he works on first take. I'm the executive producer for first take. So if something was going to happen to him it, with regards to ESPN, I'd be one of the first to know. Um, I was on the phone with the bosses yesterday and, and uh, you know, nothing's going to happen, to be honest with you, because nothing should happen. Let me be the first to say that Shannon Sharp committed no crime. Uh, it wasn't some sex tape that he meant for everybody to hear. That's not how he rolls. I've gotten to know him personally. That's not how, that's not who he is. That's not how he rolls. Okay. So let me get that out the way first. Um, and if something had happened where he was going to be in a world of trouble, I would have fought like hell to make sure nothing came of it because, again, there's no video and he was living his private life and it was a mistake. And if you know anything about Shannon, uh, trust me and believe it was a mistake because not only is he incredibly private, he's incredibly clueless when it comes to using social media. He has a team that does that for him. That's not what Shannon Sharp does. Shannon Sharp will tell you what he wants tweeted. He will tell you what he wants posted on IG. He will tell you what he wants on Facebook or something like that. But he damn sure ain't doing it himself. That's not what he does. He's not technologically astute in that way. A lot of people aren't. He's one of those people, okay? 
I know his team. I know him personally. I've seen him all the time because when he shows up the first take, they are with him. When he goes anywhere, they are with him. There's a cadre of people that show up with him. When he shows up to games and stuff like that, they are with him. He ain't rolling by himself. They come with him. He's got a social media person. He's got a photographer. He's got a photographer. He's got all of that. He don't mind people filming him and tweeting for him and, and you know, constantly being uh, a conspicuous presence on social media. He likes that stuff. He's not like me in that regard. We're both very, very private, but I don't have a desire to have all of that around me. He loves it, okay? He, you know, but they're professionals that handle his business. But they ain't going to be there when he getting down. He ain't going to have him in the room when he getting down now. He going to do that in private, okay? And I assure you, I'm here. I, I'm telling you right now, I, I wasn't there, obviously. But based on the Shannon shop that I know, I can promise you, when that brother says he didn't know he was on IG Live, he didn't know. Because there's very little he knows about social media. He knows what he says because he's instructed his team to post what he said. But in terms of technologically implementing something himself, oh, no, 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 no. That's not Shannon. That's not Shannon. So make no mistake, he was telling the whole truth. But I want to get to a bigger portion of this story that I wanted to say. The nerve of people out there that were trying to act like he did something wrong. Two consenting adults were getting it in yesterday morning. What's the problem? What's the problem? I couldn't believe when people were trying to act like, yo, he, he, he. It's like he did something wrong. They're trying to say it's sex tape, sex tape. Nah, no. You didn't see it. If you didn't see it, you didn't see it. And accidents happen. He says he was embarrassed. I saw him on Nightcap last night with Ocho Cinco. He says he was embarrassed. I believe him because he don't want people in his business, number one. Number two. He don't want people trying to figure out who he was with and bothering that person. That's true. Number three, Shannon Sharp is a big-time family man in terms of Sterling Sharp, his brother, former NFL wide receiver, who, by the way, was the second-best receiver in the world next to Jerry Rice when he was playing in Green Bay, yeah, having passes thrown to him by Brett Favre. If y'all don't know, do your damn homework. Sterling Sharp was that dude. And obviously, Shannon, with his, his sister and – his family unit, his daughters, stuff like that. He he ain't trying to be all over the media for that. That is one thing to talk about stuff and be flirtatious and talk about what you're going to do like he's done on Nightcap and stuff like that when they brought up Megan the Stallion and other people. All that, that's just talk. But in terms of actually hearing and seeing him in action, nah, he ain't about that life. That's not what he wants to do. And so for me personally, I'm just looking at people and I'm like, why y'all tripping? Why everybody acting like, you know, he, he, he did something wrong. I'm not saying it was right to be, to, to get caught on, on, on audio, getting it, be, getting it in like that. But, cause it's none of anybody's business. But if it was an accident, it was an accident. Anybody, any virgins out there, raise your hand. Any folks rolling around celibate out there, raise your hand. Anybody that ain't getting it in from time to time, if not more than time to time, Shay, raise your hand. Raise your hand. All these people looking to find some kind of criticism. I don't know what you can criticize. Now, let me say this to Shannon Shaw, because it's very important that I say this. Thank God you were handling your business. Because you know it would have been bad, right, if, if it was on audio and you were being insulted. You know that would have been bad. Shay Shay, it would have been bad. You know what I'm saying? The whole crew would have been, I mean, not on camera, but off camera, we'd all been laughing at you. You know that, right? You know that, right? So, 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 so thank God that wasn't what was going on, okay? And then he said, you know, it was, you know, Chad Ochocinco alluded to it. He said, Cat Williams. Said, called them and said to him, quote, you ain't gay today. 
Because you know those rumors that they try to put out there about Shannon Sharp, which to my knowledge, first of all, I don't care if he is or isn't. It's none of my business. But I can assure you I've never seen any evidence of that. Anytime over the years I've seen Shannon Sharp, he, he's been with a dime piece. That, that means somebody that looks very, very good. Okay, a female that looks very, very good. That's 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 what I'm accustomed to seeing him around. That's that's what I'm accustomed to seeing that brother around. So I never bought into those rumors, not that I care, because I'm liberal on the social side. I'm fiscally conservative, but when it comes to your private life and how you live your life, that's your business. Gay, trans, bi, you know, heterosexual, homosexual, is none of my damn business. Okay, I got the kind of life I like to lead, which is that of a heterosexual. Anybody that wants to live differently, that's your business. I could care less. But if you a man who is a proud heterosexual, you don't enjoy people saying that you're gay, which is what they were saying about Shannon Sharp, which Shannon Sharp has openly admitted he found offensive. So all of those rumors we hope will be put to bed and everybody move on with their damn life. But in the end, I just thought it was important to point this out. So long as it was an accident, the man did absolutely nothing wrong. So people blowing up my phone, asking me, is he going to get fired and all of this other stuff? No, I spoke to the honchos. He ain't getting fired. They, it ain't going down like that. That's not going to happen. He's going to be here. He's going to be right on first take Monday and Tuesday. He's going to be right with me next Friday in Washington, D.C. when first take rolls up on Howard University. He's going to be right there next month when we go to Tennessee State. He's going to be right there after that when we go down to Atlanta Clark University and Morehouse and all of that. Yeah, he's going to be there too. Okay? Because he didn't do anything wrong. Mistakes happen. Accidents happen. It's just that simple. Let it go. Let it be. Anybody who's living, I understand living on it in the moment when the damn thing is strolling on IG Live. I get that part. But now that it's beyond us, anybody focusing on that, making me wonder about what kind of life you got. He's 56 years old. As he said on his podcast, 56 and still healthy enough to get it in. I appreciate that. He ain't the only 56-year-old that know how to get it in. They got the energy and the stamina and the physical wherewithal to get it in. There's a whole, there's a few folks out there that can do that too. But leave that man alone. Let him live his life. And don't be searching for what woman he was with or whatever the case may be. That's his business too. Last time I checked, he ain't married, so nobody can assume specifically who it is. If he was married, you say it was his wife. He's not married, so we don't know. Why care? And by the way, for the woman who was with him and clearly intends on being with him again, ain't no shame. You with your man. Doing what it is that you do that most of us do quite a bit. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. 